Hi hands and welcome back to another video if you are returning or if you are new. Hello, my name is Meg. I am a flight attendant for a UK airline and I post predominantly cabin crew travel vlogs, clothing hauls and home and lifestyle vlogs. But today I'm bringing you something slightly different. I am bringing you a Christmas homeware, home decor haul collectively. The past few weeks I have been collecting as much Christmas merch as I can. As me and Barney are hosting this year in our house. Last year we'd only just moved into our house like a week before Christmas so we didn't really decorate last year for Christmas so I'm going all out this year as I will be for the rest of my life in my house to be honest. Sorry that I don't look great. I am not very well as much as you probably can't tell. I've got a horrible cough and I'm on antibiotics at the moment for something completely unrelated, but I won't go into it because you guys don't need to know. I'm not very well today and I actually wasn't going to film this video, but I really wanted to film it. Like I've been collecting everything up and storing it ready to do this haul. And also I didn't upload last week because I wasn't well and my vlog just wasn't giving. So I didn't end up uploading and I felt bad that I missed a week. So I felt like I needed to film this video. So I've dosed myself up on paracetamol and I'm gonna get this haul done because it's very exciting. I was not gonna put makeup on today. It was not happening. Sorry about my face. Sorry about the general state of me. I am cozy on my sofa right now. Everything that I'm gonna show you, I'll tell you where it's from. I've got stuff from literally loads of different places. Lots of different things as well. Not all of it is decor. Some of it is like general like Christmas merch, as I said. If I can link any of it down below, I will do that as well. There are still some things I wanna get, which I've not got yet. So I will probably mention those in this video as well your hot drink of choice hot chocolate for tea coffee whatever it is you fancy grab it and get cozy for this christmas haul i'll start with small things first and i'll work my way up thing i actually think this is the first christmas merch i bought this year and it's this santa plate i just saw this this is from sainsbury's home I saw this and i was like that is so cute like that'll be so nice on christmas day for like a snack plate i literally love it Barney saw it, he was like, what the hell is that? But I think it's so cute and cheesy and just everything I'm asking for this Christmas. Go to these next. I picked up a pack of two Christmas themed tea towels. I didn't want to get like something too tacky, but I wanted something Christmas themed. I thought red and green is like Christmas vibes, but it's also a nice tea towel that you could probably use all year round. These were from TK Maxx and they were $6.99. Cute Christmas tea towels. I can't remember where these are from, but we got these really cute little grey gonk napkins. Grey as well, so they go with our dining room. I've also got, I think we got this from the range, but I've got this snowflake navy blue table runner. I think this is so pretty and it goes with our kitchen, the navy blue. Navy blue and grey is like our kitchen and dining room theme. I really wanted to get a table runner this year so I am absolutely in love with this one. You literally can't even appreciate the sparkle of it. I also want to get some fake eucalyptus for the table to like lay out along the runner. I did see some on Amazon but I haven't seen any yet that I love. So I don't have that to show you in this haul, but I'm gonna put a picture here of what I kind of want our table to look like on Christmas day. And next up, I've got these three little fake Christmas trees with pine cones in them. These are originally from the White Company, but I got them off of Vinted. Vinted are actually very good for homeware and Christmas decor. They come in these little like, little woven baskets. I'm not 100% sure where I'm gonna put these yet, but I just thought they were a cute little, decoration for around the house. So I show you my first gonk? I think I will. I actually got this when I was in Miami um, this week. It's from TJ Maxx. So TJ Maxx is America's version of TK Maxx. It's exactly the same shop, I think. Look, so this is like a little sitting gonk. So you would put it like on a windowsill or on a coffee table or something. And I'm thinking of putting this like on our little unit that we've got in the hall as you walk in through the front door. $9.99. He's just a little grey gonk with a red hat and his little legs that will sit over whatever platform he gets sat on. I thought he was really cute. I'm going a bit gonk mad this year. I've only got three to show you in this video, but I will probably buy at least three or four more between now and actual Christmas day. I'll show you the other two things that I bought when I was in TJ Maxx. So the next thing... <laughs> 
He's not just make you want to cry. These were $9.99 as well. And they're just some little Grinch slippers. Did I need another pair of slippers? Definitely not. But I don't have any Christmas themed slippers. So these were a must. And I absolutely love these. I can't wait to wear them. I'm actually going to take them out of the cardboard today and wear them because... I am just obsessed. I feel like I'm going to want to wear these all year round. Of course, because I got slippers, I had to also get some pyjamas. I really wanted some new pyjamas anyway, because I just feel like I don't have enough like winter pyjamas. And I wanted to get like a Christmassy themed pair. So I got this pair also from TJ Maxx. I'm not sure what price these were because I've already worn them last night. So I have taken the label off. They're kind of like almost like a velvety material but these are the trousers actually red elasticated and then they're long and then the top is like a shirt style top and it says believe on this little pocket long sleeved as well but i literally love these i'm probably going to end up wearing them every night up until christmas obviously i will wash them between but they are so cozy and just christmas vibes so yeah obsessed with them let me show you these next yeah so we got this little wooden gonk from a charity shop in town probably gonna go either on a windowsill or on the kitchen side somewhere not really sure yet but love him then we've got and i i i'm amazed at us that we've managed to actually keep these for christmas this far we got three packs of the Hotel Chocolat Penguins. So they were doing three for 12 pounds, I think it was. We got hazelnut, praline, caramel, and pistachio. If you haven't tried the Hotel Chocolat Penguins that they do at Christmas, you're missing out. They are literally the best thing ever. I don't really buy anything from Hotel Chocolat at any other time of year, but we always get the penguins every year. They're so good. They literally melt in your mouth. They come in the little Christmas Hotel Chocolat bag. We're going to have these out on Christmas Day. We're either going to put them on a little platter for dessert or this is another thing I want to get that I've not got yet. We kind of want to make our own Christmas crackers because I just think the crap that you get in Christmas crackers no one ever actually wants. I would rather make our own and actually put things in it for people that they actually are gonna want. You know what I mean? So if we do end up making our own, we may put a penguin each in each cracker. I have had a look around and I'm not set on any DIY crackers yet. So if anyone knows of anywhere that does really good ones, let me know. This actually came through the door earlier. A Christmas phone case from Amazon. This is it. It's like a clear one with gingerbread men, a Christmas tree, a candy cane, a little stocking as well. I just thought I've currently still got my Barbie phone case on and I feel like I needed a Christmas themed phone case. So that will be going on my phone as soon as I finish filming. So whilst I was in America, I went to Bath and Body Works and I couldn't decide which candle I wanted. So I got two. I got this one, which is called Merry Cookie. This literally... It just smells like a dessert, like it's so good. I don't actually normally like the Bath & Body Works candles. No one shoot me because they're normally too strong smelling, but the Christmas ones are just on another level. And then I also got this one, which is hot cocoa and cream. This literally smells like hot chocolate. It literally smells like hot chocolate. I'm obsessed. So I'm not gonna light them yet. I'm gonna wait until Christmas. They were on offer that they, they were half price to what they normally are i don't know whether it's a black friday deal or whether it was because it's christmas i'm not sure but i had to get both of them for that reason these next little things i got off of amazon and i'm thinking i'm probably gonna have these maybe on the windowsill or like in the lounge somewhere for the majority of december but then on christmas day i think i might put them on the table three I've just, I'm holding two because I don't want to hold them too close together in case they break. But they're three little china um, white houses and they're LED. So they light up. I mean, you can't really, in daylight, it doesn't do it justice. But these literally look so cute at night. Dark room. I just think these on our runner with some eucalyptus on Christmas Day will look so cute. Got them on Amazon. You can buy as many as you want because they're sold separately. So I bought three. I just felt like three was like the magic number. I believe they were about $7.99 each. So they're not that cheap, but still you can't complain okay so this next thing i don't actually think i can use i'm probably gonna have to either take it back or sell it i got this little 
Gonk salt and pepper set, TK Maxx. The reason I don't think we're gonna use these is because we don't actually use like sprinkly salt and pepper. We have like a proper salt and pepper, salt and pepper meal, I think is what they're called, where you actually like twist it. So that sort of salt and pepper wouldn't really, you wouldn't be able to use it out of these. When I bought them, I didn't even think about it, but then I got home and I was like, actually, I probably can't even use these on Christmas day. Maybe I'll put them out anyway, if I don't manage to send them back or sell them. The next thing that I have is from Next Home and it's a little kind of wooden gonk holding a little pot and you put a tea light in here. I'm not 100% sure where I'm gonna put this yet, but I thought that was so cute. It was nine pounds from next home. And so we actually need to order this again because what we've got isn't enough, but we got this white tree fence from the range. It opens up like this and then we've got two, but I feel like we're gonna need more than two. Like, I don't think that's gonna be enough. My brother and his girlfriend have got one. Theirs is more for the cats and the kids. But I, I just think it looks nice. So I um, really wanted to have that for our Christmas tree and so did Barney. So we picked these up from the range. Didn't actually get them in store. We couldn't find any in store. We ordered them online and got them delivered to our house. So yeah, we need to get a couple more. But those are our tree fences. I'm on to the last couple of things, which is quite sad. But I'm pretty sure this one's from Home Sense, And it's this adorable little cream gonk he's white he's got a little candy cane i think he's a sitting one so he would sit like that so you could either sit him on a surface or you could sit him on the floor he was our first gonk that we bought and i literally love him so much and on to the last thing which is the best gonk and this one's from the range this is him and he wobbles ah, look at him I literally love him so much he wobbles he's a standing gonk so I feel like he's either gonna go in the hallway or at the top of the stairs or I don't know yet. I feel like there's so much we still need to get, but because I wanted to kind of film this video before December, because obviously we're gonna start decorating soon, so I couldn't wait too long. I had to just bite the bullet and, go and do the haul with everything that we have already, but he's definitely my favorite. I love his long hat. I love the fact that he's a wobbler. He's like one of those, did you ever used to have those dogs that you'd put in the back of your car and they would nod as you drove? He reminds me of them. Love his little stripy sleeves as well. I'm obsessed with all our little gonks. I think that's it. That's really sad that I've come to the end of that. I feel like now that I've done it, it doesn't feel like we've got as much. Probably gonna have double this by the time we actually come to decorating. I am also, a little bit of an announcement, gonna be doing Vlogmas this year, but weekly Vlogmas, not daily vlogmas and the day that we're going to get our tree i will already be vlogging for vlogmas so that will probably be the day that we actually decorate the house as well so i'm probably gonna include us decorating the house and putting the tree up and everything in the first week of vlogmas yeah i'm really excited to be doing it it's not actually going to be my next video my next video is going to be a vlog of my next euro tour that i've got but then as of the 10th of December it will be vlogmas every week for four weeks I've never done it on my youtube channel before so I'm very excited I hope you guys are excited too make sure you subscribe if you don't want to miss it and if you like this video please do give it a big thumbs up thank you all so much for watching I cannot wait to decorate my house for Christmas I will see you in my next video